WTC Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back and welcome to the weekend. It's going to be a pretty nice weekend. If you don't mind a little bit more in the way of cloud cover should be dry the entire weekend. We do have a front on the way for Monday. That's going to generate some showers. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a bit. First off though, as we take a look outside across the lower 48 active weather and nor'easter departing the northeast, producing more snow and rain along the coast and then more wet weather in the west snow at elevation. Boy, it's been a great ski season. All all the way through the Sierra Nevada and the Pacific Northwest. Even the New Mexico mountains doing very well as well. Some severe weather this early evening across portions of the Texas, perhaps moving into the Oklahoma Panhandle a little bit later on this evening. In advance, that's our next weather system, but it won't get here till Monday. In advance of that, just some high clouds across the area, but generally fair skies tonight. But the main difference between tonight and the last several nights, it's going to get cool again and cool off nicely, but temperatures meeting up with the dew point which means there's probably going to be a pretty good chance of some patchy dense fog developing and the RPM model has been on that all day long over the last four uh, computer model runs. So keep that in mind. If you have early morning travel plans, it's going to be the type of fog that forms in the open fields and near bodies of water and then spreads into the regions and kind of a shallow fog. So keep that in mind. If you have early morning travel plans, then whatever fog develops is going to burn off quickly uh, by mid tomorrow morning. So that's what we see on the weather map, that area of gray across Acadiana. That's the foggy area, but that burns off quickly. We go mostly sunny for a while, but some high clouds coming in for the afternoon and temperatures are going to outperform the computer model data. They've been doing that over the entire week for that matter. So we'll go upper 70s for your high tomorrow and much the same Sunday. Not quite as cool with an extended southeasterly breeze coming off the Gulf of Mexico. So that means the humidity is going to be inching upward through Sunday afternoon. A mixture of clouds and sun on Sunday, maybe more clouds and sun for the afternoon. And then we watch this frontal boundary get into the European model and it will generate, we think, scattered showers late in the day. I think we hit 80 degrees on Monday before that front gets here and then we will see cooler and drier weather moving in Tuesday and next Wednesday look very nice. As we head into Thursday, the clouds will be on the increase ahead of this low pressure system that's going to be developing in the plains and that's going to eventually allow for not only breezier conditions, but warmer conditions toward the end of next week. And then this front may generate showers and storms on Saturday, but notice there's a lot of precipitation behind the front and that could make for a cool and wet, damp Sunday. We're talking about the weekend after this weekend, uh, but we do start off April. It looks like on a pretty chilly note with lows in the 40s and maybe highs in the low to mid 60s. So as we look at temperatures tonight, mostly mid to upper 40s across the northern parishes of Acadia. Indiana. Some patchy fog possible here as well. We'll go upper 40s to near 50 along the I-10 corridor and then along the coast, uh, lower 50s and even milder down toward Cameron right by the water. Then after that cool start and perhaps a foggy start, look for temperatures to get above the forecast numbers here. I think we see about 78 the high for tomorrow and probably very close to the same for Sunday. We stay in the 50s tomorrow night uh, with that southeasterly wind and then going into Sunday afternoon. I do think we get into the mid to upper 70s once again. I wouldn't be surprised if it hit 80 degrees on any day this weekend through Monday, the way the weather pattern has been going and that March sun really works overtime this time of year. So a nice evening ahead, cooling off nicely, especially after midnight tonight. Some patchy dense spot of fog in spots late. So keep that in mind for early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, another pleasant day, partly cloudy skies and a nice afternoon breeze out of the southeast. So it's going to give us a little bit more of a tropical feel with that humidity coming up as well as we go through Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, looking good with a mixture of clouds and sun. There's the rain chances on Monday, still not going too terribly high. We may up into 50 or 60%, uh, but we're not looking at heavy rainfall nor a severe weather threat. Then Tuesday, Wednesday looking great. And then toward the end of next week and the following weekend, rain chances perking up with warmer temperatures initially and then turning much cooler for that Sunday. That's it for weather for right now. We'll be right back right after this.